The previous example can be checked by computer-aided calculation of the centroid. In RFEM, I simply created a surface and entered the thickness of the floor slab. Below that, a cross-section with the same dimensions as in our example was used. If we select the entire system and right-click on Centroid and Info, RFEM shows the overall centroid. The centroid coordinates are 0 in the y direction and 0 0.112 meters in the z direction. These values correspond to those of the manual method from the last tutorial. RFEM even allows determination of the centroid in 3D. The third dimension in this case is the x axis. In this direction, the centroid coordinate is also equal to 0 as in the y direction, because the global coordinate system lies in the centroidal axis as well as in the center of the cross-section and floor length. Now, let's consider the statical moment psi in the y direction for this cross-section with the following dimensions. The statical moment, or the first moment of area of a cross-section, refers to its centroid. This means that we use the lower or upper partial surfaces to calculate it. Among other things, the statical moment can be used to calculate the shear stresses. First, I highlight the lower surfaces and define A1 or Z1. Z1 is the distance from the partial area centroid Z1 to the overall centroid. Afterwards, we identify the second partial surface. This is the lower half of the web. This way, we add the result of Z2XA2. Finally, the statical moment can be calculated by simply reading off the distances and partial surfaces correctly and inserting them into the formula. The statical moment in the y direction psi is 44,000 cubic centimeters. You can use the shape thin standalone program for common cross section properties. Students are allowed to use this program free of charge. Let's have a look at how the statical moment is determined utilizing shape thin. We click the Insert Cross Section button at the top and go to Parametric, Thin Walled. As in the sketch, we also select a symmetric I section and define the same dimensions. If I click OK, the section appears, which I assign exactly on the coordinate system. This way, the centroid is in the origin. As in RFEM, we click the Calculate All button and get all the cross-section properties that you need for your studies in civil engineering. As you can see, the statical moment in the Y direction is selected and the values are on the right. We are usually interested in the maximum value of 44,000 cubic centimeters. This value is represented by the dark blue color. The other colors show the course of the structural system. This distribution is interesting for shear stress distribution. On the left, we can look at the course of the ordinates as well as other values, such as the statical moment in the Z direction. The table below shows all cross-section properties. The best way to display them is by right-clicking the section. You can see the shear area, moments of inertia, section moduli, as well as our statical moment of 44,000 cubic centimeters. 
In the next tutorial, I will show you how, as calculated, and how we get the exact distribution of the statical moment.